Hi guys, a uh, good morning it is, it is still quite early and I just went over the comments on YouTube. Somebody is asking a question about ALCI and ZSH. So this is not, right, this is not Arconnect. This is the pure idea that I had at some point in time, say let's have a Arch Linux. Let's put the ISO, let's get the ISO of Arch Linux, let's build the ISO, put Calamaris on there and just let Calamaris do a graphical Arch Linux installation. So that's the alc.online website that's going to help you and tell you stuff. So alc.online is where you get that. Now, the rest, close other tabs. I guess my internet is still not okay, but there are updates available. So it might be down for some reason. There he is. So that's the project. Put Calamaris on the Arch Linux ISO. The question of the user is, how do I get um, to ZSH? So you see here, here he is, shell, shell, bash, etc. Um, let's see if we can be helped, right? Arch Linux ZSH. Ooh, all right. Ooh, indeed. I don't know why Vivaldo does that, but ooh, indeed. So we want to search with Google or DuckDuckGo or the other day I was explaining my students quantum. It's another way to search. Well, that's it, quantum. I agree. No, 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 no. Quantum. I think it's with a cube. That's it. Quantum. Just saying. There are others. That's the only thing I want to say. <laughs> quantum it is with a cube. Point is, um, did I close it now? <clears throat> no, I did not. So, Arcolinux. ZSH. How to install ZSH in Arcolinux D? Tips, tricks, changing your shell. And that would be the idea, right? All these three are the ones I need. How to install ZSH. Okay, how to install. This is to switch. I need all of that. Mm, okay. So, sudo pacman minus s. That's something you need to know. It's not sudo apt install. sudo pacman minus s. And then we start typing ZSH. Well, for sure, right? It is, it was reinstalling. Here it is. It was installed. Okay, fine, reinstalling. Pseudo pacman minus SZSH. Use the tab. Tab, tab. All right. And then there's a big bunch, right? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to auto complete like this with the tab? Maybe you like that. So there is a Git version, which means the very, very, very last version from GitHub or the general one from Arch Linux. So that's the first one. Wasn't on board yet, so it's on board now. There are themes here, power level themes you can have a fun with. Just Google it. Power level 10K. And highlighting, syntax highlighting is fun. So if you, if you want to learn about coding, well, these commands, then you'll see it if it, it becomes green when it's actually a code. <laughs> Set as H syntax highlighting is now installed. To activate ZSH syntax highlighting, add the following lines at the end of. Okay, so I need to add this. Control Shift C. At the end of what? At the end of my ZSHR, and we don't see anything. There is no ZSH. Don't have it. Oh, sorry. I mean etc. Home. I do have it. Okay. If you don't, I'll show you my SSH later. So end of file. Here it says. Let's go through the motions, right? Save. Yes, like this. What else? 
So all my ZSH is not necessary. The fun thing is it has theming. Uh, just follow the well, you go Google or follow the video, and you'll probably see more information about OZSH. This is anyway what we need to do. Um, so yeah, it's a choice. Do you like different kind of uh, looks? Personally, I do like it. It's a, every time a surprise if you set it to random, and then your theme is chosen randomly, and then it's a, yeah. And here we have something to do again. You have to execute cp copy and eh? user share all my zsh to there to use it. Optional dependencies, this, this, and that. So all my zsh power line again. There's this power line thing. Go and have a look if you like it. You like it, you can install it. But um, the thing is, they say you should you should copy this guy. Well, that's all good. Control C. Control Shift C is better. But before you copy anything, I always want to make a copy um, so we do know what's going on. So this guy, Control C, Control V. Okay. And now we can make a Control Shift V. Nope, that's not it. Let's go get it again. Control Shift C. Uh -huh. Control Shift V. Copy user share all my ZSH to there. Okay, done. So now the new one. So the old one and the new one. What do we do always? We learn and we melt. Now melt a, the activity and uh, the right mouse click. I call it context menu, right? Is not available. This is not ArcLinux. This is ArchLinux. So file comparison. <coughs> and then we compare. There was a problem. There was a character encoding conversion. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is a totally different one. And down here is our syntax thing. Well, you see it's totally different. So you have to decide what to take. Will I take my own ZSH? And that's way that's how you build it, right? You just start using it so this one i would open it with sublime text yeah and i put something i would take a plain text is not a good thing pearl is often good anything that's black is not used so i don't care anything that's colorful is used so i do care and you just scroll through and you see that the, a bunch of of the standard set as h or c there is just not used. You can use it and you have to go through it and learn about it because there's lots of things, memory, overview, message, stuff, stuff here that you can use. Um, so there is a world out there and I am really noob at using ZSH. But nevertheless, we do have our own and here our ways will part because this is super personal. What do you want? What do you use? What's your workflow? What's your settings? Poof. Every ZSH out there will be different. Where is it? Here. Now let's maybe do this before. So sudo change your shell to Eric and standard shell is bin bash or ZSH. So this is going back to bash. This is going to ZSH. Control C. We have our own commands, aliases, uh, to ZSH and to bash. Here is the official one, right? sudo change shell eric minus s bin ZH. And changing shell for eric and shell has been changed. So I am now, now on ZSHRC. 
Let's complicate things even more. Changing your shell from bash to zsh, okay. So we have this command. This is uh, one of the themes, the lovely themes. I do like this one. Um, I've written it somewhere, what the name is, because otherwise I wouldn't remember it. Two bash and two zh, the green th things here. Super easy. Some other stuff. This we have installed. This is from us and that we have installed. Right. So the only thing I don't have yet is the argmix set as H. And for the rest, <coughs> it's about the aliases we use. And this is one of the advantages. Look at that. Git C. And then gets just going to explain everything. Everything that starts with a C. Git clone. Clone the repository into a new directory. That's the one we use all the time. Complete pacman commands and learn. Right, pseudo pacman minus s, and then what? Well, b is alternate database location, d is skip dependency check, i is view package information. I mean, it is a bunch of information if you are shell zsh, and if you install all these things, and the line here is just a theming that's o my zsh fixed. This is random, so every time you open it up, it's something else. So you can see it in action here and there are other people explaining ZSH out there. So please go and have a look at the YouTube tutorials. And then our own ZSH, etc scale, ZSH, this is our own ZSH. Don't need to say pseudo pacman minus s argonic ZSH kit. This is it. So this contains also our aliases and you just take another one. So now you have three versions, this one, that one, and another one. So this was coming from, oh my ZSH, right? Oh my ZSH, cool. And now we make another one, create new text file dot ZSHRC. So, yeah, I know, you're different now, he says, oh. <laughs> right? Enable auto reload, okay. And then in here, control V. So this is our thing, it ends with NeoFetch. It loads up ZSH personal, if you have it. All ways to extract things. As an SSN pseudo shutdown now, and all that. It's all, well, from us, right? We've put our energy and time in it to make it. So these are our, our choices. It shouldn't be your choices. You just see what you like from these two. Now, I don't know if um, the syntax control find sin. Okay, it's in here, the ZSH. We have source user share ZSH plugin syntax highlighting and so on. So it's in. That's what I wanted to know, because one of them, I think it's going to be, was it this one, where I put it at the end? Yeah, okay, so that's there. So now we need to go and, and make ensure that we are on ZSH. How was that again? <coughs> I think I should source ZSHRC and see if that works. So we have here bash. Um, getting rid of this ZSH while I am on the video. Now you need to log out and log in and then it's okay, right? I need to switch without interrupting the video. <coughs> That's what I'm wondering about. How to switch without Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can do this. Now there was a command I can do. Oh, I am. Still says bash here, but you see the colors already change. But it was, I could run something. Hmm. 
Hmm. That I don't know anymore. ZSH. I think I'm on ZSH since I see all the colors here. But it's not the way it's supposed to be, right? So if you log out and log in, you'll get a ZSH for real because it still says here bash here. And we have the themes running. So I know I'm on ZSH. And this is the theme, the coloring. And that's because we have the ZSH. Let that have a look. So in here, we always start here in the beginning, random. You see? Theme random. And <clears throat> I don't know, the nice one. Where should I have, would I have written it down, the name? I don't know. I don't know what the name was again. But there are so many themes out there. And the best way is just to watch the video or launch a control T, control T. Every single time you'll get a new theme randomly. And I guess really we need to log out, log in because it says that a new theme doesn't really show it. So that's the way to do it, guys. I can only say log out, log in, and um, you'll be fine and everything will be set. All right. Yes.